We're standing in Johnson Square in Savannah, which is a beautiful, shady day on a breezy day. And um, this is named after His Excellency Robert Johnson, who was the governor of South Carolina. Yeah, just go on, start over. Yeah, you're on. Okay, we're standing here in Johnson Square in Savannah. It's a beautiful day. It's a warm, breezy, shady, beautiful spot here. This square was dedicated in 17. 33 and was named after his excellently ex excellency Robert John okay well here we are in Johnson Square in Savannah this square was dedicated in 1733 and was named after his excellency Robert Johnson who was the governor of South Carolina at the time and really clear to me why they would name the square after the governor of South Carolina when it was at the same time that they were declaring their own state of Georgia, but nonetheless, they did. And to further confuse me, they put a statue behind me. It's dedicated to uh, Nathaniel Green, who is a Revolutionary War person. So, not sure why Nathaniel Green is in uh, Governor Johnson Square, but I guess they mix and match things here in Savannah. Now, what square are we in here? No idea. <laughs> we'll have to look it up. No idea. We'll have to look it up. There's squares like this all over town. The oak trees with the moss hanging from them. like Chippewa Square, 1815, commemorates the valor of American arms in the Battle of Chippewa, Canada, 1813. That's interesting. All the way down here in Savannah. Okay, I've got it. Got it? I do. Okay, go. Okay, this is Chippewa Square. See, I told you. <laughs> Very <laughs> funny. Chippewa Square and... There you go. That's fine. Oh, no, come on up. Get in the way. There. Okay, this is Chippewa Square, and it was named for the Chippewa uh, person, Indian, I suppose. Wait a second. We'll get it. I'll we'll figure this thing out. Isn't this the one where the rocks in the center are like. Behind me is the statue of Oglethorpe. Now, Oglethorpe was the general who was granted the land and given the commission to come and settle this area. And, they, and he had some very interesting ideas. He wanted no Catholics, no Jewish people, uh, no slaves, and no alcohol, and no lawyers. So uh, he, and he was the line of defense between the Spanish settlements to the south and the English and French to the north. So this is his statue. He's facing south to his enemies from Spain and uh, protecting the colony. This is the uh, Mercer house. Was it Robert Mercer? I don't remember. The uh, songwriter. Right. He wrote Moon River. He did. That was one of his famous things and he was from Savannah. And this house has his name, but it also has the name of Williams. Mercer Williams, Williams house, house Museum, huh? I don't and know. Do, you, do we know why that is, stands out? Why? Because this Williams was the gentleman who bought the house, refurbished it, and um, was the antique dealer here, or one of them in Savannah. Became very wealthy in the 11 years that he worked on this. And then there was the incident, as they call it, that happened right here in Mercer House, where he actually uh, murdered his well, boyfriend, and uh, there was a trial, and he was acquitted from that. And that became the, that story was in the book called uh, In the Garden of Good and Evil, and of course also in the movie by the same name, right here in this house.
I almost need a uh, spoon. Yeah. 